What's up, you totally obsessed tennis player? I, my name is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Today I'm gonna go over five reasons your serve is not improving. Plus, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a free serve course so your serve can improve dramatically. Okay, so let's get right into this. Number one, why is your serve not improving? You have the wrong grip. Okay, if you want to improve your serve, you've got to have the correct grip, the continental grip. Now, the, the thing that's kind of tough, which is going to go into reason two, is yeah, when you go to the continental grip, it's not easy. It is awkward. I remember when the coach first, first showed me a continental grip, I'm like, there's no way I can hit a serve like that. But it's the only way to progress. If, if you are stuck at like a 3 5 level, if you went 2 5, ah, this is fun. And oh my gosh, I'm actually game pretty good. I'm a 3-0 now. Then you play 3-0 for a couple of years, maybe two, three years. Like, ah, oh, guess what? Wow, in less than five years, I'm a 3-5 player. And then you've been a 3-5 player one year, two year, three year, four year, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's usually a big reason for that. And, and one of the biggest reasons is if you look at serves at a 4-0 high level, Four, five, none of them have a continental grip. I mean, I have a have this hammer grip. They all have the continental grip, so they can put spin on the ball. So when they hit a second serve, they can be aggressive instead of going doop. So a little bit of tough love. You've got to get rid of the frying pan grip unless you love being at the same level every year. If you've got the 3-5, you're like, hey, I've got all my friends at 3-5, I have a great time, I win a lot of matches at 3-5, I'm in no hurry to get to 4-0 then that's fine. I'm, I'm like serious. I'm not even trying to like kind of like, you know, push your buttons in any way. If you like being a 3-5 and you're happy with your game and you're winning a lot of matches and all your buddies are playing 3-5, then don't switch your grip. That, that's fine. But your serve is not really going to improve too much. There's not much I can do to help you there. Okay, number two, you don't practice your serve. The serve's the most important part of the game. The serve is the one thing. You take this basket right here. You take this basket of balls. You go out by yourself and you practice your serve. It's, it is easily the, the shot that you can practice by yourself and improve dramatically. You don't need someone re returning the ball. You don't need to rally. And I find that I got my best work done as a player when I was alone working on my serve. Because it's, it's one of those things to where when you play tennis, a lot of times you kind of need that energy. You need that intensity of hitting with somebody and you're pushing each other. But the serve, since there are so many moving parts, if you know the right information, if you're following the right steps, it kind of helps when you're by yourself. And you have a and it's quiet, and you're just out there in your zone, in your element. You love tennis. You got your bucket of balls, and you're practicing your serve. That's where you're going to really experience big improvement. Now, you've got to be doing the right steps. That's why I'm giving you a free course at the end. Because lots of people, another big mistake you're going to make is going out and hitting tons of serves the wrong way. That's not going to help you. Okay, which leads me in number three why your serve is not improving, you don't know what's wrong with your serve. You don't know what's wrong with your serve. Trust me, I give lots of tennis lessons. Unlimited amount of hours on the tennis court now. I don't know how many hours I've been on the court almost my whole life. And coaching people, I can tell you that, why that serve go long? Well, I don't know. Or they'll tell me your answer and it's wrong. What's wrong with your serve? They'll point to things that really are inconsequential to like their biggest problem. So lots of people think they know what's wrong with their serve, but then once they get instruction, they go, oh wow, I didn't realize that that's really what's wrong with my serve. Now I see, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's why you know I don't have enough power in my serve, or that's why I can't get enough spin on my serve, or I can't control where the ball is gonna go in the box. I'm just kind of getting lucky. So you don't know what's wrong with your serve. You gotta start to really know what's wrong wrong your serve. I'm telling you the biggest eye-opening thing is to have really good instruction and to video yourself. Okay? And, and then probably to take some lessons with a coach that you really trust too so that they can show you, hey, this is why you're missing your serve. And the more you really kind of pinpoint your problems, it's a lot easier. It, it's a lot, it's a big relief to your game. 
Okay, let's get to the next one. Hey, if you're still watching this video, I assume that there's something you like about it. I, I hope you're getting some value out of it. And it would mean a lot to me and other totally obsessed tennis players all over the planet if you would like this video right now. By liking this video, YouTube knew, knows to share it more with other totally obsessed tennis players like yourself and it helps my channel grow so I'd appreciate it. And my buddy B2 is gonna love you for it. He's gonna give you a hundred free B2 puppy kisses right now. Also, if you consider yourself totally obsessed with the game of tennis, then consider subscribing because this is what we do all day, every day. We teach you how to become a better tennis player. All right, so that would really help me, help you. Make sure to ding the notification bell. Let's get back and finish up this video. Okay, reason number four why your server is not improving, I've kind of alluded to this. You keep practicing the same bad habits over and over again. This might be because you don't know what's wrong with your serve, or you might know what's wrong with your serve, but you think, hey, if I just practice, if I just practice this serve more and more and more, I'll figure out a way to make these bad habits work. Um, it's not gonna help, okay? You might, one thing that you can do, if you go out and practice a bunch of buckets of serves, probably by the end of that practice session, you'll be figuring out how to feel the ball better and put more serves in the box, and then you think maybe your serve's improving, but then, you know, you might play your next match better, maybe not, but I'm telling you, at some point, the wheels are gonna fall off, because if you've got some bad habits baked into your serve, they're gonna expose themselves at the worst times, in the biggest pressure moments. You're not gonna be able to deliver that big first serve that you want. You're not gonna be able to put an effective second serve in. You're gonna start to double fault more. So, if you keep practicing the same bad habits, it's what they say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again the wrong way, and there's too many tennis players right now doing this with their serve. So make sure you start to practice good habits and that's going to help your game so, so much. Okay, last but not least, number five, and this is it. This is the elephant in the room. And I'm just going to lay it on you right now. Real talk. You're afraid to regress so you can progress. Ooh, that's deep. That's deep. So you're afraid of taking a couple steps back to go forward, and I understand why. You know, you got Larry, Larry the Loudmouth, and you, you own Larry, right? You, you and Larry been playing your match for years, and you know how to beat Larry, and you know that if Larry ever beat you, he'd talk about it, not only to you, which is gonna get under your skin, but he's gonna go into the club, he's gonna say, hey, guess what, I just beat up on Mikey, and you're just gonna, oh my God, like if I would just hit my regular serve, I could have beaten Larry the Loudmouth easy, but now he's going around bragging and he thinks he's better than me. You gotta get, you gotta let go of that ego. Yes, you are going to lose to Larry the Loudmouth probably if you start to work on improving your serve. But eventually, you're gonna shut Larry the Loudmouth up so strong because Larry the Loudmouth, who's been playing 3-5 tennis with you, you know, and maybe he beats up on you for a couple months as you're working on new habits on your serve, once it clicks, you're gonna leave Larry the Loudmouth in the dust. And all of a sudden, you know, it's gonna be Tuesday and the phone's not gonna ring because guess what? You're too good for Larry the Loudmouth now. He's still at 3-5. You've got bumped up to 4-0. You're playing with the better 4-0 players. Your serve's getting so good that even sometimes you get invited to play in the 4-5 match because people see, wow, that guy's got a really awesome serve. I wouldn't mind playing doubles with that serve. It can happen. It does happen. It happens for the people who are willing to break their serve down into progressions, do the work, and improve. One of the best examples I can think of, I made a kick serve course, kick serve mastery. Guy came out from California to Atlanta taking a lesson with me. He's hitting his kick serve and I'm going, whoa, that kick serve's better than my kick serve. Where did he learn that? So I asked him, hey, where did you learn that kick serve? He goes, your course, Pete, I took kick serve mastery. I'm like, there's no way you learned that kick serve from my course. He said, yes, I did. And then he starts to go around the court and show me all the drills that he did. You see, he just didn't take the course, he did the work. He dove into the course, he did the steps, he broke his serve down to progressions. I'm telling you, his kick serve was amazing. I will never forget it. So, what I wanna do for you right now is get you started with a course called Serving A to Z if you wanna see your serve start 
start to improve. It's gonna show you the right grip. It's gonna show you how to improve your toss. It's gonna help you place the ball in the box. It's gonna show you spins like a slice of kick. It's gonna help you with your power serve. And it's just not three free videos. See, lots of people when they're saying, hey, I got a free course for you, they're giving away like three videos. I do it myself. Okay, and it's good. You get a great taste of what's going on. But I'm gonna give you 33 free videos right now if you click up here in the card section, okay? Okay, I promise when you click on the card, it's not going to bite you. It's gonna take you to a link. You just fill out your name, your email, and bam, you're right off to the races with your course. And the best way to go through the course is you go through it, you watch your videos, you pick out one or two drills. You're like, yes, that is my problem right there. That's what I need to work on. You go to the court, you take your phone, you film yourself so you can see your improvement. And you know what else you do? You, again, you subscribe, you like this video, you ding the notification bell because this year we're going like a freight train forward in 2022. So you're going to love it. If you're obsessed with the game, stick with us. Remember, also, every time you watch one of my videos and you like it, Free puppy kisses from B2. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.